Probably my favourite feature of the Wahoo element is the fact that it automatically transfers rides that you create on Strava onto your device over Wi-Fi. You don't have to connect it to your phone, you don't have to plug it into the computer. Like the Garmin, uh, I'm using the Garmin today because I used it in the race. I've got an integrated GoPro and Garmin mount and I've just been lazy. I can't be bothered putting my Wahoo mount back on this morning. Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. It's freezing this morning. So cold, so, so cold. It's one of those days where it's gonna be freezing first thing for like the first couple of hours, and then it's gonna warm up, and then it's gonna warm up to like 15 degrees. You can just tell, we've got blue skies, the sun's already coming up over there. It's gonna be a nice day. It's just cold at the minute. But anyway, welcome to my Sunday morning. Uh, I'm heading out north today up into the Ribble Valley, like I do most Sundays, but uh, Gonna head over the trough of Boland, which is probably one of the main climbs that we've got around here. Getting the miles in. This route today is about 80 miles, I think. And I've been riding now for about 30 minutes. I've just got to Preston, which I need to ride through to get into the Ribble Valley, to get into the hills. And riding through Preston is normally horrible. It's so busy, it's so dangerous with all the cars. But see, eight o'clock on a Sunday morning, it's literally just dead. It's so weird riding through a city and there's no one around. It's great though. <laughs> That bike has been there for like the past month. I quite often film there, you can probably see it in all the videos. But no joke, that's been there for about a month. The scenery around here is incredible. You know, I might be biased, but I would say the Ribble Valley probably has some of the best riding and some of the nicest scenery in the whole of the UK. You literally can't beat this. It's just hills and fields, sheep everywhere. <laughs> So I'm heading out towards the Trough of Boland, but I'm going via Lancaster. From Lancaster, that's the easy side up over the Trough of Boland climb, but it means that I get to do the awesome descent down the other side. Riding up the Trough of Boland climb now. I said this side was easy, but I was lying. It's not that easy, it's still pretty steep. But I really like this climb because we're literally in the middle of nowhere, so there's hardly ever any cars up this climb. Made it to the top, real windy up here. But now it's time for the fun bit. goes right through the middle of a valley so if you can imagine the winds like funneled through it so you either get a massive tailwind or a mega headwind and today we had the headwind quick pit stop at Sainsbury's to grab a flapjack because I didn't bring enough food with me today rookie Absolute rookie. Four hours and 75 miles today. It was quite a good ride. I initially set out to do five hours, but I quickly realized I was having a little bit of pain in my left leg. It wasn't really that sore. It was kind of like shooting pains every now and again. I don't think it's anything that serious. Probably just a little bit of strain from yesterday's racing, but I decided to play it safe and cut that last hour off and just stick to four hours. But nonetheless, we got a pretty decent ride in. All right, giveaway time. As I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I managed to arrange a giveaway with Pro Bike Kit. I said, you know, please can we do a giveaway? The viewers love the kit. Is there any chance we can we can do a giveaway? And they said, yeah, but it has to be a 24 hour giveaway. So here's what you need to do. You've got 24 hours to click subscribe on, on this channel. It's just down there. Click the red subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. It can be anything, get creative. But at the bottom of that comment, leave your kit size. And then once the 24 hours is up, I'll use a random comment select 
to program uh, on the computer, on the internet. And so that way, everyone that comments gets an equal chance at winning. And you can only comment, therefore enter once. So two things, subscribe to this channel and leave a comment down below. It can be anything, but also make sure you leave your kit size in the comment section. That's about it. Good luck, everyone. The last couple of weeks I've really got into smoothies, particularly green smoothies. I know these aren't very good for you, they're full of uh, unnatural stuff, they're full of sugar. So if any of you guys have got any good green smoothie recipes that I can make in the blender, let me know in the comment section as well. He will literally choke himself to death before he stops pulling on the lead. Oh, oh be careful. Be careful. There's no fear in you, is there? All right, come on, let's go down. Oh no, you got a jaw. That looks painful, crazy dog. Let me explain something quickly. When I get asked a question, if I feel like that question's quite a specific question, uh, I will just reply to that one person there and then. But if I get a question and I feel like that question applies to uh, applies to a lot of people, then I'll, I'll answer it in the vlog like this. So I got a question today and it was cheat meals. Can you talk about cheat meals? Sam's running off. Sub, come here. He just chases every bird, every rabbit. Sub, oi. So my opinion on cheat meals, I'm kind of reluctant to talk about this because it's a can of worms. Nutrition, diet on YouTube, it's just a can of worms. Everyone has different opinions, everyone's everyone's right. But before I start, I want to say this is how, how I operate. This is what works for me. It might not work for you, and I know different methods work. I think cheat meals are pointless. I think they're a waste of time. For me, for me, they're a waste of time. Now, I know cheat meals are big in the bodybuilding industry, and evidently, I'm not, I'm not a bodybuilder, but the human body is quite an incredible piece of equipment, and it will utilize whatever you put in your body. So as long as you have a balanced diet, a balanced diet every day, and it's a consistent balanced diet, you don't need to diet. You don't need to do crash diets. You don't need to do these crazy diets, and included in that list is cheat days. So for me, I just have a balanced diet throughout the week, a standard balanced diet, which includes a lot of meat, a lot of veg, a lot of fruit, and also a lot of water. And so whenever I want to have a chocolate bar or some sweets, I, I just have them. It doesn't have to be on a specific day, it doesn't have to be at a specific time or, or, or on a cheat day. If I want some chocolate, I'll eat chocolate. Now maybe keeping a strict diet is harder for some people and therefore they have a cheat day, that's like their goal at the end of the week, so they eat healthy throughout the week. But look, from my experience, if you want to get off uh, get off something, get off uh, a chocolate, stop eating chocolate or stop eating so many sweets. Just simply don't eat it for two or three weeks and you will be amazed at how, how much less of an appetite or a craving for that particular item. So that's just what works for me. Keep a balanced diet and if you want to eat chocolate, eat chocolate. Got to jump from this side to this side. I was just going to end the vlog uh, outside there, but then I suddenly thought I, I best remind you about the live stream in two hours. If you're watching this video, as soon as it goes live at 5 p.m. on Monday the 27th, then at 7 p.m. Uh, British Standard Time, me and my good friend Jesper from Cycling Hub are doing a joint live stream on Zwift. So it's a live stream slash group ride. If you want to join me and Jesper, we're going to be doing an hour fairly easy. Just follow me on Zwift. My username is just my full name, Cameron Jeffers. So then when you go onto Zwift, anyone that you're following that's online will be at the top of the, the ride with list. You just click me, click ride with, uh, and then you can ride with me and, and be on the stream and it should be good fun but with that being said thanks for watching today's video oh remember to enter the kit giveaway but that's it for me guys thanks for watching and as always i'll see you tomorrow